Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Fuji. He made his first appearance in Stormwatch, issue number one in March of 1993. His real name is Toshiro Masawa, and he stands eight feet two inches tall and weighs 441 pounds, having red eyes and no hair. Fuji has a unique physiology that made him change into a being of pure energetic living plasma, technically being referred to as a gaseous sentient post-human entity. Due to this, he's extremely radioactive and has to be housed inside of a powerful robotic containment suit. He exhibits the ability to control the density of his body, becoming lighter or heavier, and also being able to increase his durability to almost invulnerable levels. To round all this out, Fuji has vast superhuman strength as well. Now, Toshiro gained the nickname Fuji back in school due to him being an extremely large Japanese guy that practiced sumo wrestling. But while he was still in his teens, his body structure began to change at a genetic level. His father, named Yoshi, was a rich businessman that despite spending a lot of money to try to cure his son, kept being told that it was impossible. Eventually, the Stormwatch organization intervened to help, and if it wasn't for their top scientists, Fuji's body would have dissipated into pure plasma, possibly killing him. The only thing that saved him was them putting him into a specially built containment suit. It was emotionally rough for him at first, but he eventually adapted. His suit has changed several times since he's been working with Stormwatch, and other than little quirks like his fingers being too big to operate certain devices, he still finds a way to brag about how beautiful he is. Although he has vast physical power, he once stumbled when he helped the Wildcats team fight against someone named Tao. This enemy traumatized him by causing him to be trapped in a mental loop, and it took him a long time to recover from this. Fuji's emotions were once again tapped by showing his strong patriotism and fighting against a crazed Japanese man who was causing widespread death and destruction in Tokyo. After the man was defeated, they had a deep ideological discussion, and the madman ended up dying in the hands of his own genetically engineered soldiers. That confrontation stuck with Fuji, and he hasn't spoken of the day since. Subsequent to this, and on a lighter occasion, Fuji reveals to other superpowered beings in a hangout called Clark's Bar that his unique physiology has a secret. The random vibrations of everyday life against his suit build up inside the gas of his body. And every five minutes they quote unquote erupt, giving him a feeling of ecstasy. That was one of the pleasures of life for him. A time later, Fuji and several of his teammates were destroyed when Xenomorph aliens attacked Skywatch. But later he and his teammates were resurrected, most likely by one of the monitors that said they would be needed. Fuji then joined the revamped Stormwatch Prime. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Fuji a rating of 6, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.